show you how uh, sounds can be amplified by reflection from walls. So I have this little website called noises.online on my iPod, and I will play a creek bubbling creek. When it's in the air, that's a directivity factor of one, which means there's no reflections whatsoever. Here's a directivity factor of one. As I get close to a wall, a hard wall, you can hear that that gets louder because it's reflecting, the sound's reflecting and basically doubling the amount of sound coming, emanating. So if you do the math, the decibel level goes up by three. If you go close to two walls, you can hear it get even louder. One wall, two walls. That's a directivity factor of four which is a dB level increased by six. If you go into a corner, you can make it even louder from a directivity factor of four there to a directivity factor of eight. And that's a dB level increase of nine. Nine extra dB compared. So if you're listening to music and you want it to be a little bit louder, you can stick your iPod in a corner, or you can put it, even put it in a little box like this. As long as it has hard sides, it will amplify the sound quite a bit. Again, the directivity factor is about one here out in the open uh, when it's free sounding. If you go close to a uh, soft wall like a carpet, it doesn't change a whole lot. If anything, it dulls it because it's muffling the sound. You have to have reflection from a hard surface in order to amplify the sound. Here's a practical example. I'm listening to a podcast while I work out, and you can hear how loud it is. If I put it on the floor, it's louder. If I put it next to two floors, two walls, it's louder yet. I put it in a corner, it's even louder.